This week you'll be doing an enzymatic assay of lactate dehydrogenase. So I'd like to give you a brief introduction to the enzyme which you will use in the kinetics laboratory. We've chosen lactate dehydrogenase, one, because it's a well-behaving enzyme for characterization, and two, because many of you will use it in the second semester in a coupled assay in order to assess your enzyme's activity. The reaction schematically drawn in the top right outlines the reaction that lactate dehydrogenase catalyzes. Pyruvate plus NADH and a proton produce NAD and L-lactate. This is an LLDH. That is, the lactate dehydrogenase is specific to L-lactate, not D-lactate. Pyruvate is the product of glycolysis, as outlined in the figure on the left. Pyruvate from the glycolysis pathway is utilized in many, many different pathways, as outlined on the right. LDH forms a multimer in solution. Depending on the species, LDH can form a dimer, tetramer, or octamer. Here, the tetramer is shown with each individual subunit colored a different color. Each monomer is an active unit, and each subunit has an NAD molecule non-covalently bound. Human LDH comes in five forms, LDH1 through LDH5. Each form is an isoform and consists of a hetero or homo tetramer. The homo and hetero tetramers are made up of either all M subunit, which would be LDH5, or all H subunits, which would be LDH1, or a combination of M and H, such as in LDH2 through 4. LDH2 has three H subunits and one M. LDH3 has two of each subunit. LDH4 has one H subunit and three M subunits. The H and M notation stand for muscle and heart respectively. The muscle subunit is encoded in the LDH A gene and the H subunit is encoded by the LDH B gene. The LDH isoforms are expressed to different extents in different tissues. LDH1, which is the 4H or 4 heart subunits, is expressed in the heart. LDH5, which has the 4 muscle subunits, is expressed in the liver and striated muscle. LDH2 is expressed in the reticuloendothelial system, LDH3 in the lungs, and LDH4 in the kidneys. LDH activity is often used as a diagnostic for myocardial infarction, or heart attack. If monitoring several enzymes activity over time after the onset of the infarction, you can see that several of these enzymes spike at different times after the infarction. If we look at LDH, we see that LDH has a spike in activity almost immediately after the infarction and up to 80 hours or longer after the infarction. Other enzymes such as creatine kinase and troponin 1 and creatine kinase isoforms can also be used to diagnose myocardial infarction. Those are just a few slides to introduce you to lactate dehydrogenase. The lactate dehydrogenase that you will investigate in the laboratory next week is from the organism Lactobacillus leishmani. So be sure to learn about this particular LDH through primary literature. Just a note, there is not a lot of articles on this particular species, but you will find many articles from the genera Lactobacillus.